Welcome to the January Fat Fiber Sampler Box Preview video. This month our theme is fairies and I can't wait to show you these beautiful samples that our contributors have sent in. We've got wonderful um, fibers. We have a little bit of yarn. It's mostly fluff this month. January fairies. Alright. I'm your fiber fairy for January. Let's dive in and see what's very good. We'll have two videos this month. One is going to be the full length video that has all the samples and we'll talk about them. And then the short video is going to be just a couple minutes and it's going to zip through and just show you what you can expect to see in your sampler box. This video is everything that could be in your box. We will give away everything in this video in on the Buy Fat Incentive Thread on Ravelry. So if you go to Ravelry and check out the Buy Fat Incentive Thread, there'll be a link to the video and a link to all the shops. And if you make a purchase from any of the shops, post your purchase on that link, on that um, thread, and we will give away this super box for that. I can't wait to show you all the beautiful sparkly things. So let's get started. This month, Plum Crazy Ranch Fiber Art sent us this beautiful silk that she calls fairy hair. And it is kind of sticking to my stuff here because it's so fine and soft and beautiful. It wants to stick to my hands even though I just lotioned, but it's so beautiful. I can't wait to try spinning this because I think it'd make a really beautiful, fine and textured yarn. And you could also blend this if you wanted to make it into, um, put it inside a bat. Plum Crazy Ranch Fiber Fairy Hair. It is too. Bellevue Fiber sent us this beautiful blend of fiber that she calls Dark Queen. And it's a luxury blend of fibers. Let's see, it's um, Baby Llama 40%, Tussa Silk 40%, and Mulberry Silk 20%. She was inspired by the folk tradition of the Fairy Queen, or the Queen from Fairyland. Um, fairy Queen is not seen as the traditional Victorian image of the fairy with wings and gossamer dress. The Fairy Queen is kind of a sinister character who has the ability to manipulate mere mortals with her glamour. Fellowview Fibers sent in the Dark Queen blend, which means somewhere here is the bustier, because the Dark Queen always has some kind of a bustier, which makes her boosty. Lutherian Fiber Art sent us this colorway she calls Fairies, and she took her inspiration from this image. And her Rolags are absolutely beautiful. There's teals, there's deep yellow, and a beautiful spring kind of green, in with some sparkling Angelina. She sent us some yarn so we can see what it looks like spun up. And then once the yarn is woven, you can see what this fabric looks like with from those Rolags. And this is Corydale with Angelina. So the wool content is all Corydale, which I really enjoy spinning. So you can turn this into this, and then make this. Jaeger and Yarn sent us these wonderful little resin and wood pens with antique imagery. She thought of these with the Victorian images of um, fairies. And I thought they were really beautiful. These pins can be used either as a shawl pin or a kilt pin or just about anything that you need to pin. They're really so lovely. Such a nice size. It could be a brooch, it could be a pin, could be something for your sporin if you wear the kilt kind of thing. Maybe I'll steal one of these. Somebody's gonna come up empty because I'm taking one of these for Barbara at Kitty Minecraft sent us these beautiful little rovings that she calls Fairy Fire. They're a um, combination of Superfine Merino, Rose, 25 Micron Merino, and Stellina. And it's gold Stellina, but it did pick up some of the dye, so there's different colors of, of sparkle throughout. She said, it's special in two ways. It's the bright and beautiful colors give it a playful quality, while the Superfine Merino and Rose give it a soft, delicate feel with a magical dash of gold Stellina for sparkle. It's the perfect combo for any fairy related fiber work. Man, there's a lot of colors in that thing. Barbara, how you fit so many colors in one thing? Did you have fairies help you? Dawn at Bristol Ridge Alpacas sent us these beautiful alpaca bats and they're dyed with different blues and greens throughout. 
super soft and fluffy. If you haven't spun with alpaca, um, it's a real treat. It's so beautiful and soft and fluffy. It's like spinning super soft hair versus wool that has more of a, a, a not coarse isn't the right word, but wool has a very different feel than alpaca. Bristol Ridge Alpaca sent in this cool blue and green. I love those colors. Kristen at the Woolly Lion sent us these fun little skeins and she's doing a little bit larger skeins. These are 25 yards and this is superwash merino and 25% nylon. So they're really fun and bright and soft colors. She called this one fairy flowers. Really, really love it. Let's see if I can get really close. Oops, oops, oops. There we go. Look at those colors. Purples and greens and pinks. And fairy and flowers from the woolly lion. It's got some pretty pinks and greens. That plays nice together. This month the hippie homemaker sent us some um, merino and she titled this colorway Winter Fairy. And it's really soft and fluffy and springy. I think it would be really fun to spin up and see how these subtle bits of purple and blue come throughout the yarn. I think that'd be pretty. And the hippie homemaker sent in the winter fairy. Hippie homemaker. Hippie homemaker. That's cool. These all, a lot of them have this icy white theme to them, which I think is kind of cool because you get like put them all together. Gloria Patre sent us these beautiful little butterfly stitch markers, and each one comes with a candy. For the super box, she included some buttons and a pretty little fairy charm on a lobster claw. So you could hook that onto your work in the front and back, or just hook it onto any of your project bags. And a little candy from the inside. Absolutely love it. These are what each of the boxes get, and they have um, a small to a medium um, ring. This whole box, man, you could spin up the most magical thing with a stitch marker on every row. It'd be fabulous. A Star is Shorn sent us these little rovings that are Falkland, Baby Camel, Tussa Silk, Merino, Stellina, and Sari Silk. And they're super fluffy. Just a wonderful combination of fibers. Um, they have just enough sparkle in them. Looks like it's a bronze Stellina. And the Sari Silk adds little tiny pops of color. And the star is shorn, sent in the supernova bat. It's not like partly nova. Supernova. Wild E. Coyote. Supernova. Fairy glamour. Supernova. 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 Fairy glamour. Fiber Quirks sent us these beautiful little Rolex that she calls Sugar Plum Fairy. And it's not marked, but they feel like they're merino, and I see um, sparkly Angelina in there. So I think the fiber content, it feels really soft. So I think this would be a really a treat to spin. Absolutely wonderful. And the Angelina has just a little bit of a crimp in it. So it's going to add a lot of sparkle with, without adding a whole lot of Angelina. We used to make sugar plum fairy gag juice, which was like... Homemade hooch, but it wasn't purple. Full Circle Artworks sent us these wonderful little palettes this month that she calls Ice Garden. These have Snow White Foam Mohair, and the Ice Blue is Superwash Merino, Silk, Nylon, and Polypay. And the Frozen Lavender is Blue Face Like Stir Wool with Firestar. The Pastel Pink is Icelandic Wool. The winter green over here is Shetland wool. The golden yellow is from a local farm. It's a Romney, and the sheep's name is Tank. So these wonderful little palettes give you the opportunity to try several different kinds of fibers out. Ooh, that's pretty. It's lots of little different stuff. And there's other stuff in there. It's like a cornucopia. We have a new contributor this month. This is Story Yarns and Beads, and she sent us 
these gorgeous little freshwater pearl stitch markers on a um, for the super box this person gets a full set plus a clasp to hang it from which I thought was really wonderful I think that would be fun to hang off of my knitting um, or put this on on your project bag because this is a split ring so you can attach it to your project bag and then have your um, stitch markers right there for you I must go and seek some dewdrops here and hang a pearl in every cowslip's ear is the phrasing she used. It's from Shakespeare. Not shake your spear, but the Shakespeare guy with all the words. This month, the Tara from the Dying Arts sent us fiber and yarn again this month, which I love. Um, this colorway she calls Ice Fairy Ring. And you can see all those beautiful soft blues in with a creamy white. And the yarn is superwash with nylon. And this is about a 30 yard sample. We've been doing a little bit bigger samples for our yarn. And the fluff is merino top. So this would spin up so beautifully. It's so soft and you'd get such a beautiful springy yarn. And the dyeing art sent in the ice fairy ring. Again with the fiber and the yarn. This month, Alice at Handmade Hollow sent us a, a couple of different ones, but she sent this big bat for the super box. So I definitely wanted to highlight this one. She called this Woodland Fairies and it's got um, Columbia Cross CVM, Merino, Surrey Alpaca, Silk Threads, Bamboo, Banana Silk, Firestar, and Angelina. Look at the sparkle in that thing. So beautiful. It is so soft and fluffy and this would spin up with so much beautiful sparkle. I think this would be such a fun, fun bat to spin. I really like it. Handmade hollows with woodland fairies. I could see this up in a tree. Some of it has kind of that Spanish moss thing from when I used to visit my family down in the south. Florida, not too far from Disneyland. This month, the winemaker sister sent us these beautiful little colorful flowers and fairy stitch markers. Wonderful. I love this set. These are a large ring, non-snag, that I think would be absolutely fantastic to knit with and brighten up any winter knitting that you have going. She does lots of different stitch markers and um, other different fun knitting um, related items in her shop. And she included a coupon code on each of these as well so you can use that to get more fun stuff from her shop. I would be hard pressed not to think I was making something magical if I had all these stitch markers from this box because they're just kind of cool and kind of special and you could make magical stuff. Like if you really hate your mother-in-law you could make like a shawl. That... Wild Hair Studio sent us these beautiful bats that she calls Fairy Magic and they are um, purebred Rommeldale with CMV wool and a crossbred wool from their from their farm, Angelina, Sari Silk, and Rose Fiber. So there's some rose soft fiber right through here that you can see and see all the Angelina sparkle and the Sari Silk. I absolutely love these bats that keep the natural fiber of the wool but add a little bit of color with Sari Silk or with this rose fiber. I think that's a fabulous idea wild hair fiber. It's a pretty white with some colors in it. Gossamer, if one believes the gossamer thing. It's gossamery. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you love this box as much as I do. Have a wonderful month. Jumping Jehoshaphat. And that's January Fairy Fiber. Fabulous. Fabulous Fairy Fiber from January. For Fat Fiber. For Fat Fiber. My sister Sally sells seashells down by the seashore.
Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many peppers did Peter Piper pick? One peck. The sixth, six sheeps, sixth sheeps, sick. That's the toughest one in the world. There you go. So there. Enjoy your January. Enjoy your fiber. We'll see you next month. It's good to be back.